Hi, I'm Jessica Harvey and welcome to Stingray City Sandbar. Southern stingrays are related to skates and sharks and are found throughout the Western Atlantic and the Caribbean. They are called stingrays because of this venomous barb they can use to inflict injury when feeling threatened. Stingrays are adapted to living on the sea floor. Their flat bodies are easy to bury beneath the sand to sleep or hide from predators. When buried, they use openings called spiracles to breathe. Southern stingrays naturally forage at nighttime, forage alone, and only gather to sleep and reproduce. Their behavior here at Stingray City has changed in response to interacting with and being fed by people. Research by the Guy Harvey Research Institute indicates that the squid fed to the stingrays may not adequately replace their natural diet. Southern stingrays forage for things like crabs, worms, and fish. Feeding them something more natural like chunks of fish may be better for them. Females are much larger than males. You can also tell the difference between males and females by looking beneath their tails. Males have claspers, which is their reproductive organ, and females do not. Southern stingrays, along with other skates, rays, and sharks, are protected throughout the Cayman Islands. As you can see behind me, we're very much about educational outreach. For more information on the research that we do or the educational outreach programs that we're involved with, visit GuyHarvey.com. I'm Jessica Harvey for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation.